Hey guys, Jimmy Yen here, the acupuncture guy with Achieve Integrative Health. And today is Thursday, and today I'm naming it Taiwan Thursday. So we can learn a lot from Taiwan um, about, especially what they're doing with the coronavirus. So Taiwan has, I think, 20 million people, and they have about less than 50 people affected by the coronavirus, and they're just a few miles off of the mainland China. Um, why are they able, and I think they've had one death reported, and so a country, a whole country has 50 people, five zero, 50 z people uh, infected by the coronavirus, one passed, and how, it, what, and the number of people that are getting infected by the coronavirus is not going up. And so how do they do it? They're actually sta setting the standard in regards to how to how to keep the coronavirus out of your country. And so what do we, can we learn from this? Well, the reason why Taiwan has such a low incidence of the coronavirus is because they learn from past history, they learn from experience, they learn from the errors of when they had SARS, uh, I forgot what year it was where SARS was rampant also. They learn from that experience and they, implemented, they took action, they were proactive. They were proactive uh, before anybody else, any other country. That's why other countries in Europe is, is just, is getting, you know, is growing. Even here in the US, we're seeing more and more people. Um, it's because, you know, uh, the number one thing, there's, there's a couple of things that we can learn from Taiwan and how it can help us fight any type of disorder. And that number one is learn. We gotta learn from the past. Too often we don't learn from our past. To you know, we we look at our family history tree and we say, okay, my parents, my grandparents, my great 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 grandparents all had diabetes, and so I'm still young, so I don't have to worry about it right now. Well, why aren't we learning from the past? Our great great grandparents, our parents, who are doing things wrong and having diabetes, high blood pressure, uh, thyroid disease, cancer. Uh, what else? Uh, you know, this. Why aren't we learning from them? Uh, we should be learning from them. They've already made the mistake. Why are we just doing the same thing over and over? Um, again, that's what Taiwan did. Taiwan learned from their mistakes in, in regards to how to deal with SARS, and they were proactive, and they had monitoring systems already. They had everything set up before any any other country. And that's why they have the low, one of the lowest incidents of uh, the coronavirus. So we need to learn from that. We gotta, you know, learn from our past, learn from our, you know, people who've been there, done that, people who've got sick, people who ate the, the crappy diet, didn't exercise, and develop all these degenerative rheumatoid arthritis, uh, psoriasis, all of these things can be preventable. Um, but we choose not to, we choose not to be prepared. The second thing, the second tactic that Taiwan used to prevent, to decrease the you know, coronavirus infection from spreading to the whole country was being proactive. They were proactive. Before the coronavirus actually started entering into Taiwan, they were already taking measures to prevent it right? To start the prevention, the spread of it. And so we need to be proactive. We, so number one, we have, an inc we have history. We have our family history that tells us if, if we're prone to hypertension, if we're prone to diabetes, if we're prone to cardiovascular disease, if we're prone to cholesterol, we already know all this. So you know the family history tree. Step, part two, step two is you need to be proactive. If you're proactive, then you can do just what Taiwan's doing. They're knocking it out of coronavirus, right? Um, so if you're proactive, then you can also knock out disorders, diseases before they even come, they even come to light. So why are we waiting until we get the disease, then do something about it, all right? Why not take, be proactive? Be proactive today, okay? Today, tomorrow, not five years, not next week, not next month, today. Tomorrow, let's get working on preventing diseases for your body, for you, for your body, because you have people depending upon you. You've got your kids depending upon you. You got your spouse depending. You got your siblings. You got your family depending upon you. Take responsibility. There's no don't blame your parents 
for passing down your gene. Don't blame your parents for eating crappy and feeding you crappy food. You know, they didn't force it into your mouth. Let's take responsibility, be proactive. So that's one thing that we can learn from Taiwan. Um, I'm super proud of Taiwan. Um, I just so happen to be Taiwanese. I was born in Taipei, Taiwan, even though I was raised Texan. Um, but I'm super proud of my country um, being proactive and setting the bar and the standard on how to take care of coronavirus in your country. Um, so again, let's, if you have children, set, set the bar. Set the bar for them. Stop, you know, doing junk food. Just because you're young doesn't mean, doesn't, yes, your body can rebound quickly, but it doesn't mean that you start damaging it right now. You know, you got to start taking care of your health and start setting the bar for your kids. You know, if, if you don't set the bar, what's going to happen? You know, just look at, just look at, you know, what's happened to you. You know, if your health is in the, is, is not so good. So start setting the bar, right guys? Uh, Jimmy Yen, this is Achieve Integrative Health. We can help you set that bar. Uh, we're the number one acupuncture and wellness clinic in Cedar Park in Central Texas. Um, so give us a call, 512-260-1710. Uh, Jimmy Yen from Achieve Integrative Health. Let's all make tomorrow, for tomorrow, let's all strive for achieving greatness.